boys don't make passes at girls who wear glasses, on and on and on and on. But in this day and age, when nearly 3 million women in their 20s and 30s have advanced degrees and make up nearly 50% of law and medical school classes, do those old wives' tales still hold true? The smart, successful, yet perpetually single woman from Diane Keaton. Now, Ken, I need the P&Ls on Atlantic Overseas. I also need the latest ZBBs and PBBs. And Robin, I want you to get me the CEO of IBC ASAP. To the women of sex in the city, all high-achieving career women, but are men intimidated by their success. And I'm sorry, but I am not sorry I made that money. I worked really hard for it. And I never thought that you would be the type of guy that would have a problem with that. In her new book, Christine Whalen calls them swans, strong women achievers, no spouse. And she set out to debunk the myths that swans cannot live happily ever after. I think that a woman that you know makes, makes more money than I do or is smarter than I am is, is actually intriguing. I like someone who's equivalently confident, equivalently at a you know comparable educational level and that men do marry smart women men are babies sometimes so i would assume that uh they're they're intimidated um at first glance maybe but i don't think it's going to deflect them all together the only men who are intimidated by strong successful women are men with insecurities men who don't know how to be strong or successful themselves i like strong-willed women i married one <laughs> She's right next to me. Well, we have some reassuring news for all the smart single women in our audience. The men out there really do appreciate you. And social scientist Christine Whelan can prove it in her brand new book, Why Smart Men Marry Smart Women. Christine, you got our attention now. So what is the outlook nowadays for career women? There is great news. Smart, successful women marry at the same rates. So it's really time to let go of that conventional wisdom that men are intimidated. At the same rate, but is it um, when they get a little bit older at the it's, same rate? It's true. Um, smart, successful women start getting married in their late 20s, early 30s, but from there on in, it's terrific news. And statistically, they have happier marriages? Yeah, later marriage means that you have a higher chance of meeting the right match for you mm -hmm. and a reduced chance of divorce. You know, there are a lot of women who say, Christine, I want to believe everything that you're saying right now, but they remember that Newsweek article, what was it, 20 years ago, that said if you're 40 years old, a woman and single, you're, you're better, you're more likely to get killed by a terrorist, I believe they said, than to get married. And then, of course, Forbes just recently said, do not marry a career woman. You're going to be miserable if you do that. So why are we supposed to believe you? My research is based on U.S. Census data and a nationally representative Harris Interactive poll of more than 1,600 high-achieving men and women nationwide. So this is a really large-scale poll that gets out the good news. And in fact, in my poll, 90% of the men that I talked to mm -hmm. said that they're looking for a woman who is as or more intelligent. What's the percentage? 90%. 90% did. Overwhelming. That is. So swans. That's swans. What... Strong women achievers, no spouse. OK, let's bust a few myths here. Mm -hmm. First, men are threatened by smart women. Not true. In fact, three quarters of the men said that a woman's career or educational success makes her more desirable as a wife. Women are more eager than men to get married. No, that's not true either. The, the men that I spoke with are really looking for a woman who is not only smart, but driven in her career. And uh, they say that, in fact, smart women make better mothers. Because that's another issue we were going to, because there was some concern also if you're going to wait until a little bit later, mm -hmm. the biological clock, and it changes and that. But they can, men believe that you can still be a good Absolutely. mother and work? Absolutely. And, you know, so high-achieving women marry at the same rates, and once married, they have children at the same rates. So what exactly are you finding that smart men want? Smart men want a, a driven woman um, who is excited about her career, but who also is willing to prioritize her personal life and make time for them. And as millions of women out there know, we're pretty good at multitasking, yeah. so we can do that. But they want someone who's passionate about Absolutely. what they're doing and what they believe in. Yes. And now that you did this to get married, you're, you're 29 years old? I'm 29 years old. And tell us what happened when you were doing the research for this. I, uh, I met a wonderful man, a very smart man indeed, and uh, I'm living out my statistics that smart women who prioritize their careers do get married. They just do so a 
little bit later. Because you were to write the book because you were heading in your late 20s. You have your PhD? I do. I have my PhD and I read some articles in the New York Times that said that smart, successful women didn't get married. The social scientists didn't mean to do better than to accept that conventional wisdom. So I did the research myself and it's really time to spread the good news that uh, you can achieve in your career and have personal success. Well, there are a lot of women who have a little more bounce in their step this morning. Christine, I so. thank you very much. Thanks and so congratulations. much. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank good you. Good luck to you. And you can log on to abcnews.com.